Neo may not be a recognizable name in the U.S., but it's becoming a leading player in China's electric vehicle market. Hey guys, what's happening? And welcome back to our channel. China invaded yet another market, attempting to destroy yet another foe and yet another formidable force. It wasn't looking like it before, but Neo may have a good chance. Here is how Neo plans to beat Tesla in China. Number five, potential for better autopilot. The talks are that Neo's autopilot is much better than Tesla's, or at least they're aiming to get there. Tesla's emergency brakes, automated lane correcting, and other integrated system settings are top notch, including its autopilot. You can call your car to you from anywhere you've parked it, but who would have thought that we'd be seeing stuff like this too soon? Anyways, Neo has been relaying that their autopilot system has a more responsive range than a Tesla's. In essence, you can call the car from a much farther distance than a Tesla. You can also set it on autopilot for much longer than a normal Tesla. Neo would have sufficient safety instruments installed in their car to make sure the car doesn't crash while the driver is doing whatever for which they switch the car to autopilot. The new sedan, more on that later, is going to be the reveal for this particular autopilot system. Who knows? Most people can only tell after they drive both cars. However, Neo is trying desperately to out-tech Tesla. And let me tell you guys, their attempts might just be successful given that they already have an edge over Tesla in one regard. Their autopilot system is essentially functioning exactly like Tesla from the reports that have been covered and the available footage. Smart traffic watch for whenever there's a slow or quick car around, the car technology of Neo adjusts accordingly. It keeps detecting and scanning surroundings and ensures that the car and the driver are safe from damage or the risk of any damage. Strategically deriving the percentage of risk involved in driving a particular way, it will also remind you to take control if things are getting out of hand, if there's a traffic jam for example, or the duration of autopilot is ending, or if it feels the driver has dozed off. But actually, it kind of feels weird to say that if it feels, yeesh. This is done by a hidden camera on the rear view mirror, which keeps judging if you're focused on the roads and if your eyes are on the road. According to sources, the layout and planning integration on the maps of the Neo cars is superior to Tesla, as a Tesla car is not integrated with a system to read the usual traffic systems on the road or the one at hand and adjust speed and other controls that way. We can really think of Neo as sort of the original Tesla of China. Number four, battery swap. Before we get on the actual phenomenon known as a battery swap, what we will do is discuss the battery of an earlier model, an SUV, the Neo ESB. It can drive 60 minutes straight when it's at 20% to a 100% battery. That is around 580 kilometers. Its battery also weighs up to 2,500 pounds, but it can surprisingly properly drive the car from 0 to 100 in less than 5 seconds. Now coming back to the battery swap. One of the constant complaints about Tesla cars is that the constant charging they require alongside the maintenance of the battery, and if the battery is fried, well, the car is technically done. Finished. Kaputs. Neo, however, has cashed into this particular flaw. It has introduced an option of a battery swap. If you feel your battery is being particularly difficult, requiring a lot of charging, and it is ticking you off immensely, what you can do is have it swapped. The whole process takes around 3 minutes, your car goes up, the machine unscrews the battery packs as screws, and then puts in a new battery. It costs around $4,000, which is nuts compared to Tesla's range of $10,000 to $12,000. Furthermore, you can have all the battery swaps you like, and the points are very accessible and there's rarely a shortage. This is one area where Tesla has Neo completely beaten. The difference in the range of prices is insane. Even though this may mean that Tesla would introduce something along these lines in the future or just cheapen maintenance prices or go ahead with making batteries even better. Although this may take some considerable time. Um, but in fact, it's actually quite sharp. The chassis is, is tight. Um, and although it weighs two and a half, uh, 2,500 kilos, it really doesn't feel like it. Number three, backed by the government. 
Did you know that NEO was in ruins at the start of 2020? Even before then, it had a very problematic financial situation wherein Tesla was minting money at that point, making and piling up billions upon billions of dollars, and NEO was nowhere in the picture. And then, from out of nowhere, the conversations taking place imply that NEO and Tesla are on the same playing field. This is the case because the Chinese government is unofficially aiding NEO. Tesla has expanded quite substantially in China, and it seems the Chinese government does not want that. Although it is arguable to what degree the Chinese government is involved with NEO, whether they own it completely, have a stake in it, or are just trying to dominate another market with their cheap labor and secondhand copies. Whatever the case may be, the Chinese government backs up NEO. If that means bailing NEO out of a billion dollar loss and then further furnishing and providing them with funds so that they may compete with Tesla, NEO is in good and secure hands. Tesla will not be able to last long if they have an entire government behind them. Through the end of 2019, NEO was struggling. And in the first quarter of 2020, NEO got to a point where they said, in order for us to survive, we require a bailout. Number two, back by Tencent. Tesla's software is something to behold and awe over, although NEO is not falling behind either. Tencent, a global tycoon in internet services, has pledged its allegiance with NEO. It's been with NEO since its formative years, and now that the Chinese government is backing NEO, Tencent will be pushed to do the same and provide NEO with an upgraded and boosted software update and car programming, giving Tesla a run for their money. It's hard to explain without going into much detailed reasoning how this is a huge deal. What makes electric cars unique is their smart software and advanced features. Otherwise, who would like to drive a car that costs a fortune in maintenance? However, now Tencent may come up with what kids call it these days, a bigger, better version of the same software. Breaking the glass ceiling that had been hanging over the heads of software designers who were trying to make the interface better constantly. Fully autonomous cars. That's what everyone in the auto industry is working towards from Tesla to Ford and now an international startup, NIO. One of its backers is China tech giant Tencent. Number one, stock rising after unveiling new model. They know how to manipulate stock pretty well. They do this constantly by marketing mostly or timely announcements sanctioned by the Chinese government, which is widely successful in raising their stock prices. Elon is a genius, but he doesn't have an entire economy manipulating the government behind him, even though this war will be quite entertaining to watch. This was the clearest and most accurate data available amongst the blaring white noise. This is what their plan seems to be currently, to get Tesla out of China. The question is, will this actually work or drive them into further debt? Either way, we're just gonna have to wait and find out. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you liked the video, do hit that like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already so you can catch up on more awesome and insightful content such as this in the future. Bye now!